Good morning everyone, it's Tim Wilde here. Meditation Monday, a little bit later than normal because it's very cold outside today. But what are we going to do today? Well, I was sat here wondering, I was, I was sat inside wondering earlier on what energies are coming in that are very, very specific. And I'm, I don't, I don't know whether you've all noticed, but the last few days or so, there's been a lot of, uh, particularly over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, there were spikes in the Schumann resonance. And um, also, I think a lot of us picked up a, a, an increase or almost like a, an energy bulge in the field as this, as, as another new wave of light has come in. And um, the souls that stepped forwards this morning and said that, that they're kind of working with those on the Ascension pathway are the Pleiadians. Now the Pleiadians are renowned and very much loved for their for their healing technology and and um, have been working alongside us on the spiritual pathway for a, a considerable period of time. They're very prominent in Atlantis. And uh, I just want to tell a little story about how I actually first kind of encountered them and and really connected and met with their energy. Back in 2014, when I was first starting on this pathway, I had bought 10 crystal skulls, 10 amethyst crystal skulls, very much like my amethyst friend here. And I'd put them on a table in a grid formation. And the intention of this was to charge them up to to basically attune them keep the energy of them fifth, uh, remove any impurities from the crystals attune them to a fifth dimensional vibration but i was having a particularly busy day so the the uh, it was um i was distracted and i spent most of my day kind of running around and at the end of the day i i received a message from a lady on facebook who who said i'm sorry i would never normally message anyone like this but i've got to pass it on to you i'm i'm connected to the pleiadian high council i work with them on a regular basis and they are telling me to tell you to pick up your phone i i kind of read the message and i initially wondered what on earth was meant by this and then suddenly the penny dropped what the pleiadians had done is they'd connected into the the, the collection of crystal skulls. When you activate a crystal, particularly a crystal skull, it will then act as a conduit for energies that are wanting to connect from a high frequency source. This is what makes using crystals so powerful, is the fact that, that, that the energies around us that are available and, are, and abundant do need an anchor point. Most of the time they come through us, but crystals are used to harness and anchor and activate that energy. So there I was with 10 crystal skulls on my kitchen table, charging and activating, and they'd been linked into by the Pleiadian High Council, who'd then been trying to get my attention all day. Of course, I'd been running around and hadn't paid them the slightest scrap of attention. So at that point, I then connected in to the Crystal Skulls and received an incredible gift or tool called the Pleiadian Blue Rose of Healing. And this beautiful, I mean, it looks like a traditional blue rose that came down from, from the heavens and then moved through my chakras. So for those of you out there that are feeling a bit wonky or wobbly this morning or just in general need of balancing and healing, just take a few moments now because we're going to we're going to tune into the the blue rose and uh, just bring it through our chakras and see see how that feels and how you feel before and afterwards. Okay, so close your eyes wherever you are in the world. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, just allow all of the muscles within your body to completely relax. Just let go of anything that might be troubling you in the in the world around you at the moment anything that you have taken on any any kind of mission doubts that you have any physical imbalances that might be occurring due to the increase in energies we're going to balance that out this morning okay so just take another deep breath in and as you breathe out just reach your consciousness upwards and mentally connect to the Pleiadian High Council You might see seven 
very illumined bright blue souls standing round in a circle ready to greet your energy ready to receive your connection and between them between the seven of them they are holding a beautiful blue rose okay so they're ready with this they're waiting for the connection And as you send your consciousness up, as you send out the request, the invitation, the intention, the blue rose now begins to descend downwards towards you. Feel it moving through your monadic presence, your super soul, your highest self. And then begin to descend down your Antakarana bridge, which is the golden tube of light, which connects you to your highest source of light. Feel it widening and cleaning and expanding your Antakarana bridge. Then you'll feel the blue rose lighting up the bright, golden chalice of your stellar gateway which is about a meter above the top of your head about where the tips of my fingers are and as it does so it just opens and lights up your stellar gateway allowing you to receive high frequency consciousness from the universe around you all the light or the ascension vibrations Then feel the blue rose descending, <coughs> feel it lighting up your soul star chakra, which is about a foot and a half above the top of your head. This is a beautiful magenta chakra with a blue centre. Just almost sense and see the blue rose now fitting into the blue centre of your soul star and then expanding outwards, just cleansing and balancing the chakra. And feel the blue rose descending and lighting up your causal, which is just above your crown, looks like your own personal moon. And see the bright blue light of the Pleiadian blue rose lighting up the moon white of your causal chakra. Quite often this chakra gets hyper, it goes into a state of hyper expansion, almost hyper hypertension because it is our connection to the spiritual world it's also where we receive all of our our lunar energies and it's a very busy chakra so just allow the Pleiadian blue rose to rest within it and balance it out for you any tension that you feel around the back of your head or the top of your head at the moment just allow that to be released And then feel the blue rose within the gold of your crown on the top of your head. This might be a physical sensation as the chakra relaxes and opens. You might even see it unfurling round the blue rose and just accepting it into the top of your head. Gold and blue swirling together, a beautiful mixture. Then sense and feel the blue rose within the clear crystal ball of your third eye. So much of us are going, so many of us are going through third eye expansions at the moment as we begin to see the world more clearly. The, the fifth veil of amnesia has been completely removed and the clarity is quite startling for some people. So just allow the blue rose to just soothe and balance the crystal ball of your third eye. This is about calming everything down and just bringing you into linearity. And feel the blue rose moving into your throat, which is the bright royal blue chakra. 
that enables you to speak your truth, speak your love, speak your words of wisdom. Just feel the blue rose gently soothing any stresses, any strains, any constraints that you might have within the chakra, any lessons that you might be going through with it at the moment. Just feel them melting away. Feel that Pleiadian healing in there. And then feel the blue rose within your heart centre. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, feel the blue expanding into your pure white, pink and golden heart chakra. Just feel it balancing out, feel it supported, feel it nourished and feel it nurtured by these energies. And then feel the blue rose moving into the gold of your solar plexus. And some of you might be experiencing kind of additional turbulence within the solar plexus at the moment. Many of us, each of us are going through a very individualized process, but we're doing a lot of releasing. Those of us who are very sensitive to other people's energies might be taking a lot in via the solar plexus. Just heal that now, just allow that to be balanced and released. Just feel this connection to the emotional body just settling down, just completely relaxing, balancing out, becoming linear. Then see the bright, the bright blue merging with the orange of your navel chakra, okay? Now the navel chakra became highly active at this time last year. It is driving the process that we are seeing and sensing and feeling around us. The change, the global change, it is the Atlantean chakra of community. So how the blue rose to support this chakra on its mission. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, feel the blue rose moving into the soft pink of your sacral. Feel your sacral balancing and harmonising. Some of us might be going through shifts in the people that are around us and supporting us at the moment. Moving from, I was talking about the other day, from old family to soul family. Just feel your sacral nourished, nurtured and supported as the blue rose lights up within it. And then feel the bright shining blue mixing with the platinum of your base chakra. You are your higher self. So just allow the Pleiadian healing energies to nurture and support that. Many of us are anchoring in aspects of our higher self that we haven't connected with before. Every time we raise our frequency, a higher aspect of ourselves comes in and anchors to the base. It is a busy chakra at the moment. Then allow the blue rose to move down your legs, feel it soothing the muscles within your thighs, within your knees, within your shins, and gently embracing your feet before moving into your earth star chakra below the soles of your feet. Many of you will see the earth star chakra as either a hematite grey or a bright silver ball of light below the soles of your feet. Allow the blue rose to merge with this chakra now. Now you will have shifted vibration as the blue rose descends through your chakras and balances everything out. 
just communicate silently with your Earth Star now and ask it to hold you in that gentle but optimum vibration now for the remainder of today and you can refresh this whenever you want. Your Earth Star will memorise this perfect pitch, this perfect vibration for you. So just anchor this in now. And now from the Earth Star Chakra, just visualise the light of the blue rose just flooding back up your legs, through your body, down your arms. Breathe it into your lungs. Feel it moving up your neck into your head and just see yourself just glowing with this beautiful bright blue energy. And just allow yourself to feel balanced and relaxed regardless of what is going on around you just keep yourself within that perfect balance of vibration as often as you can okay i'm going to just take a few moments to say thank you to the Pleiadian high council for for sharing with us this amazing tool and all of the other beautiful energies that they've shared with us over the years and for also for what we are going to be receiving in the future as this new blueprint and the new healing technologies are are rolled out across our planet sending you all lots of love i hope you enjoyed that this morning and uh, for those of you that are joining diana cooper and i tonight to work with the fifth uh, work in the zoom for the fifth dimensional children looking forward to that i'll see you all there lots of love bye for now